How to Set Up Google Workspace for Beginners 2023 Essential Guide. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be discussing about Google Workspace and how you can set it up for your business in 2023 in the easiest, most simplest way possible, okay? And uh, we're going to be talking about it all in great depth and detail and I'm going to give you all the information so please do make sure to fully watch this video till the end. Now we all know that Google Workspace uh, is a, it's a quite a um, necessary thing to have because you know we have GA4 and all those things and to make all of those work you do need Google Workspace and it's great for your business because it gives you great CRM, you can get great analytics, great data stream can be inputted and outputted and a lot of other great stuff can be done okay. So obviously it's our job to uh, those integratory things uh, aligned and uh, you know set them up by our own desire. So yeah, that is exactly what we're going to be doing and uh, exactly what I'm going to be showing you in this video, okay? So yeah, basically let's get started. So to get started off, what you're going to be doing is you're going to come to the basic Google Workspace website, okay? This is Google Workspace. It's workspace.google.com. Once you're over here, you can see how teams of all sizes connect, create, and collaborate. A flexible, innovative solution for people and organizations to achieve much more than they can, okay? So obviously to work with this you can go ahead and get started okay now once you click on get started what's going to happen is it's going to load you in and ask you to put in your credentials now obviously you need a google gmail account to work with this if you don't have a gmail account then obviously you cannot work with this now once we load things up what's going to happen is uh, it's going to load the basic google workspace uh, dashboard up so let's wait for it to do that now once obviously everything is uh, loaded up, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to log in with our basic Gmail, okay? You can also go into the admin console if you have the admin privileges to yourself. That's also a pretty good and nice way to, uh, you know, keep the um, workspace going on, okay? Pretty great stuff. You can also find the right plan for yourself. Okay, there's the three different plans. Okay, the business starter plan, the business standard, and the business plus. Okay, these are three different plans that you can uh, start for yourself. Again, pretty uh, great stuff to have for your uh, Google Workspace business profile. So let's say I'm also I'm gonna go over to Google Analytics for okay, so we can get started with the whole workspace thing. Now. With the Google Workspace and the admin dashboard, basically, you get quite a lot of um, settings and uh, quite a lot of, uh, you could say, necessary stream setups that uh, you are going to need when you're making a business account for yourself. And obviously, for a business account, you're going to need a domain and everything. And for the domain, obviously, you are going to want to fulfill the plans. As you can see, you have the $6 plan, the $12 plan, and the $28 plan. Now... With those plans, trust me, like even though they are like not too much in price, to be honest, they're pretty decent in price. But yeah, you get the basic gist of it. Now, to switch around, obviously, this is your basic marketing platform. To switch around to analytics, you can just click on that and it's going to take you to the analytical web section. And uh, furthermore, uh, to see the different features or to start a new account, you can just go ahead and switch account over here. But yeah. Obviously, for small businesses, if you want to uh, supply data stream to different uh, places, obviously, uh, again, go on Google Workspace, make sure that your account is uh, properly set it up with the pricings and everything. And once the pricings are set up, you can also see the different solutions and products that it provides you. Now, for business, obviously, we're doing it for a small business, okay? And for a small business, you can see Simplify How You Work. Use Google Workspace for business email, video conferencing, cloud storage, and file sharing. Get all the tools your team needs to collaborate and get more done. You have very small business benefits, but trust me, they are pretty cool, like pretty amazing. So take Gmail to work. You know, Google's ultra-reliable servers guarantee 99.9% .9 uptime on your business email. Industry-leading spam filters keep junk out of your box. Store and share files. Keep all your work in one secure place with cloud storage. Access with share with teammates whenever you need it from your computer, phone, or tablet. 
work from anywhere, you know, collaborate on documents, spreadsheets, and presentations across devices. Real time and co editing helps you get to the final version faster. You get business grade security where you can keep all your company data safe and protected even in the event of lost or stolen devices and employee turnover. You get very easy IT administration where you can set up new members in minutes. Google Workspace stays up to date automatically so you won't have to worry about software updates or security patches. You can work with popular file types, you know, easily open and edit common file formats like Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. You can also export and share files with people who don't use your basic Google Workspace. So obviously there's a lot of other stuff as well. You can, you know, do it for retail, manufacturing, professional services, technology, healthcare, and a whole lot more. And uh, as I said, once you've like set up the pricings and everything for yourself, uh, everything will show for you. That's why, um, and sometimes it will bug like it's bugging for me right now. So it might not show you the sign up page, but yeah. And then obviously once you're into your main dashboard, obviously you can get reports and everything and you can even add different data streams. So if we were to go on admin, uh, first of all, you can, uh, you know, create properties and all for yourself. So uh, creating these properties will allow you to, you know, input data streams and get different analytics and moving on. You can also add users. OK, uh, to add users, you can go to property access management and uh, you can, you know, input users pretty easily, pretty simply, as you can see. Now, obviously, you can give access to people by, you know, adding users. You're going to go and add users and to add users, just put in um, an email. OK, so let's say I'm going to put in an email of my own. So let's add this email over here. And we're going to do notify new users by email. Once you do that, I'm going to make this person the administrator and I'm going to click on add. And as you can see, it's going to add users and a whole lot more. And obviously this goes really well for your, you know, basic business and uh, pretty great and incredible stuff. You can also add different ad manager links, Google ads links, merchant center, search console links, a whole lot more. You know, pretty great, incredible and easy stuff to, uh, you know, have for your uh, basic, you could say, workspace and business frame. Now, I'd say that's pretty much about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed watching, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll make more for you. And uh, if you have any issues with this video, please let me know that in the comments as well because if there is any issue that you have, I would like to clear it as soon as possible. So yeah, please let me know down in the comments below and I will reply as soon as I can. And uh, moreover, uh, if I were to, you know, give uh, you a brief, uh, you know, run over on how this is gonna work, again, just go on to Google Workspace, workspace.google.com, choose the right plan. Uh, I prefer the business plan because it's best for small businesses. Choose your primary email or email Elias. OK, go with the best one. And once you do that from there on out, everything should be a piece of cake to work with. So, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching till the end. And that was all from me. And I hope you keep all having a great day. Goodbye.